and wait till you uh, till we get to a, a part in there that takes in Grandma and Grandpa. Well, this is the farm, the granary on our farm, where I grew on up. your farm. Yeah. Okay. And for those getting that, Uncle Pete started on a farm, was on there for a while till your older brother kind of took over. Right. And you moved. You knew that, right, Judy? Yeah. Yeah. See, that was brand new to me last night. Mm. Oh, we, we actually visited the farm. Oh, oh okay. Just, oh, Is yeah. that when you went for the uh, reunion? Reunion. That was in 1988. Oh, wow. Yeah. Melna Chuck reunion? Yep. Okay. That's my niece. Okay, that's the farmhouse, on, uh, our farmhouse. Now, who's that? That's my brother and his wife. Oh. Uh, this is my niece. Oh. And that's my Chrysler. Uh, that's 54 the, Chrysler. Is it Brenda? Okay. No. Is it, was that Brenda? This is our landlady in Edmonton. Yeah, we lived in their basement. There's the house, David, that you saw. Or, uh, oh, they. We think we saw uh, it when we drove and there's, past. Uh, when, now I know we're talking about okay, the bas <laughs> baptismal <laughs> service, one of our camp meetings. And doing baptisms? Yeah, in a lake. Banff oh. National Park. Yikes. Oh, yeah. You guys are scared of the bears, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm going wow. near those. Don't want to get too close to those. Yep. Now, where is this, Uncle Pete? Banff National Park in Alberta. Okay. <clears throat> and real Indian teepees, or? That's our landlord, where we lived. Max. We lived in the basement suite. That's my mother and my stepfather, and this is the Bow River in Banff, Alberta. This is Lake Louise. Is that you, Aunt Rose? Yeah, yeah that's me. She wore that coat when I first saw her. Oh. No, it was a yellow coat. It was a yellow coat. Why did you dress up for that? We always dressed up when we traveled. When you traveled. Oh, really? Okay. With mother. ties and everything? My, mother, my mother. brother. You wore ties when you traveled? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no air conditioning in the car. Exactly. Uh, I would die. I <laughs> know. And stick shifts. Chateau yeah. Lake Louise in Alberta, where the king and queen, I think, in 37 stayed. Ah. Is this the burnt down? What was no, no, this is, this is bad. How how fast could cars go back then? 1950s. Well, this is in the fifties. They were pretty pretty much up to 50, speed. 55, 60 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, that was the speed limit back then, about sixty. Oh. Yeah. But the cars were pretty capable back then. There a lot of horsepower back then. Yeah. Even the straight sixes and the big sixes, they were pretty powerful. Okay. That's what they used to have in tractors. Six well, cylinders? Yeah. Four cylinders sometimes. Whoa. Hot springs? This Ed's is the Banff Springs Ed's Hotel. Ed's it was a hot springs. Then the hot water start, stopped flowing. <laughs> yeah, we went in there swimming. <laughs> you were tra you'd get up early in the morning, right? Four or five in the morning travel? Well, if we wanted to make 800 miles a day, yes. Okay. We used to travel Eight. to Vancouver a thousand miles, 18 hours. 16 hours of driving. We I've were, done we that. We were younger. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> but I decided in going to Detroit, it's an 860 mile trip. I used to do it well, in one was, big lump one day, sum. Yeah. I said, that's over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stopping after eight. Well, I'm doing from seven to three, three and I'm chilling in a hotel. Yeah. Yep, can't do it anymore. Yeah, we nope. used to do it from Mesa, Arizona to here, yeah. to Denver, 850. <sighs> 850 to? To Arizona? Mesa, Arizona, Phoenix. Phoenix. And for everybody, we've got Uncle Pete and Aunt Ruth's son and daughter, David, Judy, 
yeah. we're sitting and watching Banff, Alberta, <laughs> Canada. <coughs> Do you have a projector at home? This well, is not this, a projector, that's a camera. This will be oh. able to be seen on a internet. Oh. And I will send it to Uncle Pete. I don't think I have your email. I'll okay. get it. Okay. And you can take care of distribution to Judy and Diane and Nancy and David and all. You got we'll their emails? Huh? We'll, we'll have to show, show them how. how. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, if you get our phone and you do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're still working on how to, how to answer a cell phone on with them, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're dinosaurs, David. <laughs> I'm with Aunt Ruth. I, she but, texts. Huh? She, she can text. They both text. I can't. And yeah, yeah Uncle, I can text. Uncle Pete and I worked that out in picking me up yesterday, and it ah. worked out beautifully. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was perfect. And Uncle Pete's on top of it, too. Boom. You get yeah. an answer right back. Yeah. <laughs> if I saw running water, I took a picture. Yeah. Uh, Every molecule in that lake right there is under God's command, Uncle Pete. Yeah. Not a single molecule is a, is a stray molecule out of control. You know, when and you drive up and down that highway, you see the beauty of creation. I mean, it's it just, it just... No words for it. We have no words for it, exactly. Yeah. But I had to put my toe in the water. <laughs> this, this is a gas station we own in a, a Edmonton, Alberta. That's why we went out to Alberta. It was uh, because of this service station that the guys right bought. Who's that? That's my nose. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> How long is this one, Uncle Pete? This one's pretty short. Yeah. Oh. We took a trip into uh, Virginia. Oh. Uh, uh, no, not yet, so, uh, after a while. This is 1904. The mountains slipped at a mudslide and buried the whole town. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's what we're afraid of in our cold weather training in California. Oh, really? We're up in 18, 20 feet snow on yeah. skis. Oh. And snow, you know, snowshoes. Yeah. We're afraid of a snow avalanche. Yeah. Long. And you, we'd be marching okay, along and you'd see a, the top that, of it. That red Chrysler was uh, Jack and Elsie, uh, uh, Aunt Elsie. Aunt Elsie. Great Aunt Elsie. Is that Grandma? Yeah, that's her. That's Aunt that's Elsie. Elsie. Oh, yeah. she Who's looks like Grandma. She does. And she is buried out in Alberta? No, she's in Regina. Regina, Saskatchewan. We were there when the uh, TV station went up in Edmonton. Oh we my. sold some of the first TV sets in Edmonton. Uh, I remember when Dad got a TV set, and the, some of the leaders were concerned if that was going to invite the world into <laughs> the into the house. And in we we were living on Waverly Road for a year after. Uh, before we bought our house. And I was working for Danforth Radio. And, and uh, you were living with Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah. And uh, and uh, we went and bought a 17 inch Admiral TV and I had to bring it up in our stairs bedroom because we didn't have it downstairs. So here we were in that center bedroom upstairs in Waverly. And we were sitting watching a TV and Grandma and Grandpa came and into that room, bedroom, so we could watch a program. All four of you? <laughs> All four of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's and you had an antenna for the thing? Rabbit ears. Rabbit ears. And we were able to get it. This is in, uh, uh, That's not four, no. in Virginia or Pennsylvania. We took a trip down into West Virginia, Kentucky, and you're going to see uh, Detroit here in a minute. Oh. Well, that's interesting. You do 55, 60 miles an hour. 
I was told by Dad that Grandpa Veach, when he would drive his car, would drive it in the middle of the road. In part the on the left, part on the right, until he had to get over for an wow. oncoming car. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh that, my goodness. That's what Dad mentioned. Who taught him to drive? <laughs> Grandma never learned to drive. No, she didn't. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's unusual. Oh, there's okay. Dad. There's the features. Oh. oh my, and mother had, oh that's me, oh, I drank a thing of cleaning fluid in that house. Mother oh, no. found me, my eyes were rolling back into my head, she <laughs> called dad at the church, he zipped home four blocks over, picked me up and I have memories of my mother shaking me and sticking her finger down my tongue to get me to vomit up. Wow. Wow. And they got me into the emergency room at Saratoga. They put charcoal in my system, and they weren't sure if I was going to make it. Wow. And Dad said to Mother, the, the verse from Job, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Take away. And that comforted my mother, but I recovered. Always wow. into something. Boy. But it was at that house we just saw. Grandpa Veach? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember where this is. Look at the way they're oh, all that's dressed. Your, the new car we yeah, just bought. Yeah, 55 Ford. Yeah. Oh, my. Was Grandpa Grandma Veach with you on this trip? Yeah, I think this is a trip to Vancouver, British Columbia. And they were with you? They yeah. were with us. Grandpa but, was still working, you think? I think he retired then. Retired. But that car did not have air conditioning, no. remember? Oh. And it and was terribly through hot. Uh, southern, no air in Wyoming and southern Idaho, 100 degrees. Oh. No air. And you had suit and tie. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And no air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day our descendants watch this. Yeah, they I think, probably will. I think this is Minnesota. And now that it's video cammed, Uncle Pete, we don't have to rely on your hard copy here in the house. We got it on here, we can share it by internet. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, this is Algonquin Park, I think. Algonquin. Northern Ontario. Oh yeah. I did a 20 day canoe trip up through there. Mm. Oh, look at them. Mother and Dad. Oh. Oh, boy. The Vern and Dorothy's cottage, cottage up on Lake, oh. whatever, near Peterborough. This is a, a camp meeting. Outside. Kind of Toronto. revival type camp yeah, meeting? Right. Some. Uh, yeah, every summer I had a camp meeting near near Hamilton, Ontario, or oh. Brantford. Oh. And at this time, O.J. was still the pastor of Peoples? Uh, yeah. Grandpa? Grandpa. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Quite a swimmer, oh. isn't he? <laughs> Mark. Is that my mom? Yep. That's your mom. Oh my word. Uh, oh, see. Mel, Mel Waven. <laughs> that's mother there, I think. Yeah, that's her. That's me. That's you? <laughs> See, the, the majesty so of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Looks like you don't go in head first, right? No, I you never put just, my head under water. You just jump in. And... It's like a cat. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, this is Alagoncook Park, northern Ontario. Yeah, yeah. A lot of lakes up through there. Park. When you want to see fall colors, that's where you go. See what? Fall colors. Fall colors. 
changing of the leaves, <clears throat> colors of the trees. Oh, okay. You know, no, they talk about New England yeah. being beautiful, but it doesn't compare with the maple trees of Ontario. Yeah. When they start to turn, they get all the colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful? We have a word. Is that you, Aunt Ruth? Yeah. Yep. There's Diane. <laughs> Diane, oh boy. <laughs> Has Diane seen these? I don't know. I don't think so. I think she has at least one of these videos. I know she has. Oh, does she? Yeah. That's my brother and his wife. Oh, Uncle Bill. And they came to uh, California. You are a hat. <laughs> yeah. That's your older brother, right? Yeah, the oldest, yeah. I wonder who that is. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on there, boy. <laughs> He's got the life jacket on. Right. And Vern had a little portable floating thing in on the dock. Oh, and that's his, uh, for his boat. Like you see. Grandma. That's a nice cabin. Cottage. That's cottage. Right. Yeah, cottage. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one that, that they remodeled or whatever years later? Is that you, Uncle Pete? I. That was Laverne. That was Vern. That was Vern. That's Glenn. That was Dorothy. Know. Bruce. That Diane's in there somewhere. <laughs> what you do cover her uh. up? <laughs> All those ruffles. Why did I take all the pictures of me? Well, you didn't. Well, you Somebody must have. Somebody did, yeah. They had bought a, a fairly new boat, hadn't they? Yeah, he something. always had a good boat. That's Vern. Oh, he wasn't as graceful as you. <laughs> no. He's trying to get up. On Everybody his skis. wanted to get off, <clears throat> get on their skis from inside the water. This was for Diane. And Mel DeSoto. Everybody got out of the water. I always got off sitting on the deck on the, on the walk. Right, I slid off with my behind right off of the uh, pier. Yeah. And that was a lot easier. The cars were a lot bigger back then, and more metallic, you think? <coughs> the cars? Yeah. Uh, maybe the sturdy. metallics started to come out about then. But there were no plastic bumpers or... No, no. It's all chrome. <coughs> must be stormy outside. This is our trip to Vancouver. Somewhere. Oregon Trail. Yeah. When we took mother and dad. Yeah, to Vancouver. <coughs> From Toronto. From yeah. Toronto. Yeah. When we didn't have the air conditioning oh. in a car. Who did the driving? I did, you mostly. Did? Oh, well, Ruth took the driving to Hammond, Indiana. <laughs> and then she hit a, some, uh, a car that didn't, the car stopped and she didn't. Right there at an intersection on a, on a highway, a Hammond, Indiana. It, uh, kind of banged up the guy's car. Police came and said, Memorial Day weekend. The judge is at the, at the Indianapolis Speedway. He's going to be back till Monday. So you're going to have to hang around till Monday for the judge to come. And I said, well, what can we do to settle the things right now? I said, well, the guy was going to trade his car in anyway. So we give him $75 and they let us go. We kept on going to Vancouver. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, we'd have been stuck. That, no. And mother's mother's leg. <coughs> she hurt her leg. Hurt her leg. She could hardly walk. 
because uh, we were going to Dorothy and Metro's place. <coughs> and this is in Vancouver. There's Grandpa, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And his mother, yeah. Stanley Park, famous park. Well, the, the movie's a little bit clearer here now. This yeah. The camera must have been better. Lionsgate Bridge. When did they start building those suspension bridges? 1930s? Well, the Golden Gate was 37, I think, 1937, and the Lions Gate was about the same time in Canada. Okay. But uh, they're both about as famous. There's Dad. Oh, my. Boy, he had a full head of white hair. Yeah. Yeah, to the very end, Judy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he didn't look the same in the coffin casket as before. And like he had, to me anyhow, it looked, he looked different. Oh, really? And I did quite fully, rec I recognize him in these photos here, mm -hmm. videos, as clear as can bell and in that little thing I had. But he had a kind of a more emaciated look, a yellowish look. Oh, really? You know, to me, as a kid, I was 10. But didn't he, what did he die from? He died from hepatitis. So he probably had a yellowish... He, he got it, allegedly. There's, there's, he, he was the only guy who walked across a suspension bridge. Grandpa? It, everybody yeah. was afraid to walk across, because <laughs> it was a long way down if you ever went fell overboard. We had to do that in marine training, go up real high and jump off and slide down ropes. And, oh my goodness. Uh, but he, he got it from a dirty needle in a blood transfusion relative to a surgery that he had. Oh. And one of the times I was told when they did the surgery, his intestines all popped out. Mm -hmm. They had to pack his wow. intestines back in. Okay. okay, there's the grandpa. Oh, this is at your brother's place. Yeah, we're leaving Vancouver. <coughs> That's Uncle Metro, yeah. Yeah. And this is Bill's house. No. Yeah, this is Bill's yeah. house. <coughs> See, we're dressed in... You got tie. your tie on, too. Yeah. Is that you, Uncle Pete? In yeah. the dark. And so, uh, Judy, the, the hepatitis gave him, affected his liver, and it ate the liver up, and they did the autopsy, and they said there's about that much of his liver left. Wow. And that, that's coming from dad. So okay. he got typically yellow. Yeah. And that's how what he died of. Okay. I just remembered some of you at some point said jaundice or something. Yeah, last stage, okay. hepatitis, yeah. liver. Okay. There he is again. Okay. Terminal liver failure. Okay. That was the highway before Highway 1 through the Rogers Pass, the little narrow gravel road. That was a Transcanada highway. Awesome. Grandpa, Grandma were good traveling partners? Always oh, really good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Is there that them? That's them. Well, I know Grandma said to me that Grandpa left her in good financial estate. I don't know what that meant. I don't know what the numbers are. Yeah. But I, and I'm not asking for any divulging of numbers of yeah. money was distributed, but that's what she told me. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she was alone for a long time. 24 <clears throat> years. Wow. This Athabasca ice fields, that glacier has really backed off way up in the mountain, were you? Uh, you said that's Alaska? Uh, no, is the highway between Van and Jasper, it's called the Athabasca Ice Fields. Or oh, I remember that. Yeah. Bemidji. Oh, 
Yeah. Where is that? Like in Minnesota? Big blue this, this is Duluth, Minnesota. That's the Mackinac Bridge. Oh, that was that Grandpa? You're Diane. And Grandpa. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And that's the star of the show again. <laughs> Diane. Diane. Oh. <laughs> that that uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh. There, where she threw kids at the Boy, other kids' Boy, look at the eyes. size of me over there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is that you, Uncle Pete? <laughs> yep. Oh, the Daytona Delta Beach. Florida. That's the place that Diane threw the sand in that little kid's face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, oh, my word. Driving on the beach. Wow. That's pretty brave. And the Seaquarium in Miami. So were you in Florida twice? You were. I, well, I was there twice, but in business. But we, just you and I went once like with Grandma, Grandma and Grandpa. Is that the end of it? Uh, maybe Is it not. Is still the aquarium? Oh. Yeah, you're still looking at the pics there. Oh, the little fish. And dolphins, oh my. And dolphins. One thing that would happen when a ship would go into or out of port, hundreds upon hundreds of dolphins would jump oh, at wow. the front of the ship, and they would ride out with you for miles. Wow. Hundreds wow. of them. Every port you'd go in, is that Dad feeding them? No, that's no. not him. Oh, they were training those. Uh, well, they were performing. Performing, yeah. And they won't bother you in the water. No, they're pretty friendly. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Now, this is the wedding. Oh, no, this is still Florida. Well, this is where the girls go up the ramp. And Remember those things, yes. Jump over the ramp. They always had this kind of stuff at the Toronto Exhibition. Oh, did they? Yeah, they'd have guys skiing and jumping and this kind of stuff. And they had a hundred foot tower and a guy would climb up and dive down into... Oh. Is that Diane? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uh, it's another family in Toronto, same name as ours, but not related. Oh. We were at their wedding in Toronto. Casaloma. Women, see all the hats women are wearing? Yeah. They used to wear hats to church. Oh, always. Yeah. Did they take them off or they wear, like England, they wear them right into the sanctuary? Oh, yeah. Sanctuary. For women. Women, yeah, they keep their, their hats on. I remember the fedoras. Our dad wore one for a while. Oh. Is that me with that long, that dress that sticks way out? Did you yeah. notice? Is that it, Uncle Pete? That's it. Oh, that was fun. Mm. And that was 29 minutes.